In this video, we will show how to install the board repair kit for a power supply in a Vizio TV model number E500I-B1. During the repair process, be sure to take all of the proper safety precautions. In this video, I will use a hot air tool to install and remove components. If you do not have a hot air tool, you could also use a soldering iron. We will start with replacing the transistor and diode on the heatsink. Remove the screws from each component. Flip the board over and desolder the legs. In this video, we will speed up the video at times to be as time sensitive as possible. Remove each of the components from the heatsink. Use a rag or paper towel with some isopropyl alcohol to clean off the existing heat sink compound from the heat sink. Be sure the legs on the component are bent in the proper position so that they can fit through the holes on the board. Apply heat sink compound to the back of the components. Put the components into position. Insert the screws to secure the components to the board. Solder the legs on the back side of the board. Trim the legs. Whether we mention it or not, after all of the soldering in this video, be sure to clean the area with some isopropyl alcohol and a brush. Next we will replace the component on the board that we have a green circle around. Flip the board over and desolder the component from the board. Use a pliers or something similar, if necessary, to remove the component from the board. On the component, there is a dot and half circle on one side of it. Align that side with the dot and half circle with the dot on the board. After the component is in place, flip the board over and solder the component to the board. After soldering, once again, be sure to clean up. Next, I will replace the fuse. You can use your hand or a pliers to pull out the old fuse. Then, firmly push the replacement fuse into position. Next, we will replace this component that is underneath the heat sink. On the back side of the board, desolder the two big solder points. This will remove the heat sink from the board. Desolder the legs on the component. With how small and close together the legs are on this component, 
it may be better to use some solder wick and your iron to try and loosen them. Use a pliers to remove the component from the board. Line up the replacement component and bend the legs appropriately so that they fit through the holes. And then secure it to the board by soldering the legs on the bottom side. Apply some heat sink compound to the top of the component. Align the heat sink on top of the component and then solder it to the board on the bottom side. Once again, be sure to clean up your solder joints. The next two components are very similar and we have highlighted their location on the board. Start by desoldering the legs on the back side of the board. Remove the components from the board. Bend the legs on the components and stick them through the holes. Solder the legs to the board. This next component is similar to some of the others as it will be removed by desoldering it on the bottom side of the board and the replacement will be soldered into position on the bottom side of the board as well. The next component we are going to replace is this diode. As you will notice, one end of this component is black. Before inserting the component into the board, be sure you have lined up the black side of the component with the white part on the board. This component is directional, so it must be installed the same as we see in the picture. Start by desoldering the component on the back side of the board. Insert the replacement component through the holes on the board.
Finish up this component by soldering it to the board. The next component is on the back side of the board and is a surface mount component. Once again I am using my heat gun to remove the component, but you could use a soldering iron to remove it as well. After the component is removed, clean up the pads with the iron and wick and then use a brush with some isopropyl alcohol. There is a dot that is on the component. Align this dot where the white dot is on the board like shown in our image. After the component is aligned, use a tweezers to hold the component to the board and solder each side individually to the board. Run some flux on the legs and then add some solder to the tip of your iron and run it along the legs to solder the component to the board. Be sure to clean up these legs after you are done soldering. The next two components are here on the board. I will use my heat gun to once again loosen the component from the board and then lift it away with my tweezers. Clean up the pads with the wick and iron and then use a brush to clean it up. Apply some solder to the end of the iron and then put a little bit on each of the pads. Heat up the pads and place the component into position using the tweezers. In order to be sure the components are in the correct position, I am going to put some flux on each of the pads and then quickly run my iron over each pad to be sure the component is soldered to the board. The next four components have the same process to remove and install the replacements as the two previous that we just showed.